aging research is perhaps the best form of primary prevention. In fact, it's primary with a capital P. If you want to go after everything associated with aging that we don't like, the diseases that kill us, the diseases that, that make us more frail and disabled as we grow older, aging is the way to go. It's the underlying risk factor for everything that occurs. The other th thing I would be concerned about if I was the general public is a focus entirely on specific diseases. I think while it's important that we continue with research combating heart disease, cancer, and stroke, we need to recognize that as people make it out into older and older ages, aging itself becomes the most important risk factor for the things that go wrong with us. So we really need to be cognizant of this and, and uh, begin shifting our attention. I consider this movement in, in an effort to slow biological aging as a new major public health initiative on par with the introduction of antibiotics in the middle of the 20th century and uh, basic public health interventions in the early 20th century, both of which had a rather profound influence on public health. I think this is the next big thing in public health, delayed aging.